thank you for subscribing and hit that notification bell. Hi everyone, welcome back. And in this video, I am going to give you my tips on how to grow long natural nails. These two pictures here are my nails on September 24th and I have been filing them and shaping them up a little bit since then. And these are my nails today, Monday, October 21st. They are looking healthy and I'm very satisfied with them. And now I'm going to start and tell you what I do to grow my nails healthy and long. And maybe you can apply some of these tips to your nail care routine. I always, always wear a gel overlay on top of my natural nails. And this is hard gel here. It's by Star Nails International. It is the classic sculpting gel and it is a UV gel. And I use this because I love the clarity and because it is a one phase gel. Here is the back of the box and you can see for yourself, this is a self leveling and single process gel. And right here, it's guaranteed to adhere easily and never lift. No base or no top coat is needed. That is a single process gel, single process, okay? It's just so easy to work with. I usually apply three thin layers to my natural nails. I will have a link to this gel in the description box below if you are interested in purchasing it. These are my nails with the hard gel overlay. And I just wanna talk a little bit about my nails and show you what they look like. This is my right hand and of course, it's the best hand. And they say that your the hand that you use the most will be longer because you use it a lot and there's better blood flow. And this is, of course is my left hand. And what I'm showing you here is that I do have a small extension on my middle finger and on my pointer finger. And you can see where it starts, where the edge of my natural nail is and where the extension is. Here's a close up look. On my pinky, I had a little crack. And when it was first cracked, you know, it was further on down towards the nail bed, it's now grown out. And I mended it with some fiberglass. And here you can see the tip, the extension there. And if you see any little white spots on the nail, it's natural to have those. The white spots are usually caused by any kind of little bump or pinch, anything slightly that might just hurt the nail bed a little bit, but they're completely harmless. And here's my thumbnail. It has a little bit of an extension on the very tip left over. And every so often I file it and it's coming off, you know, it's just wearing off. And not too long ago, I showed you my thumbnail and it had some splinter hemorrhages down on the nail bed area and they grew out. And my thumbnail is looking quite healthy now. And this is my right hand. And this is my, I call it my perfect hand. Everything is looking good on this right hand. That was a little crack there that I had mended with a little bit of fiberglass, just a small little strip and it's growing out too. And now my pointer fingers, they have a tendency to want to grow inward towards my middle finger there. And you're going to see that in a moment. Now, do you see I'm pointing at this edge of the nail. I had to put a form on and build my nail out a little bit so that it would appear straight because you'll see the arrow. My fingernail wants to curve that way. It does, it wants to curve that way towards the middle finger. And I wanted to correct it and make it look like it's straight. And so I think I did a pretty good job. Now right here, this is a, this, I always get this little split on my epinicium there around my skin and then I trim it and then it always looks like that. But anyways, and here's my other thumb on my right hand looking great other than it has just a little yellow spot on it. No big deal. They are coming along very well and I'm very satisfied with them. And here are some of the products that I use for my nails and some of the vitamins that I take. And the number one thing that I take is biotin. Uh, someone told me to take biotin quite a few years back and I looked it up and started reading about it and it's really good for hair and nails. And I'll tell you what, my hair grows really good 
and it grows fast taking this biotin. Of course you want to take another just multivitamin and then take your biotin and it does help. Trust me on this. It really does. And any drugstore will have biotin. And then the next thing is you want to get a very good hand cream. And I live in a cold climate. We have winter, we have snow and that can be very drying. I have dry skin and I have dry hair. So I want to have a hand cream that lasts through washing, through hand washing. This stuff really lasts and it's good. So you want to just use it a couple times a day and even put it, you know, rub it into your cuticles. And this can be found again at any drugstore, Walmart, and it's really good. You should really have a very good hand cream that lasts through hand washing and it will really help you. Next up is cuticle oils or body oils. Any kind of oil will nourish your skin and nourish your cuticles. But you know, it's nice to get a cuticle oil that is infused with vitamins. And recently I just got this one from Madame Glam and it's really nice. It's made with jojoba oil and I've been using it a lot too. Very nourishing. I use cuticle oil all the time, like several times a day. It's great to have cuticle oil everywhere. Put one in your car, your purse, you know, by the TV, on your coffee table, anywhere, by the sink, you know, when you wash and cook and do dishes. Always have cuticle oil everywhere, you know, and apply it. And here's another oil that I got from eBay. And I basically got this because I thought those flowers inside of it were just gorgeous and, and it smells divine. I kid you not. And so I use that a lot too. And plus I make my own cuticle oils and I've did videos on those too. And this is vitamin E caplets. These you can eat and you can also pop these and put them on your skin. And here's what they look like and I just take one and I pop it and I squeeze it out and put it on my cuticles this is very thick and sticky so I mostly use this at night or if I'm just gonna be home and not going anywhere because it's very thick and it's a little sticky I wouldn't say a lot sticky but it's very nourishing and it feels really nice and it should help with dry skin. I put it on that little, uh, on my middle finger, that little piece of skin that always seems to crack. When it starts cracking again, I'll, sh I'll do a video and I'll show you that, what it looks like. But yeah, any store will carry these. I got these, 30 of these for $1 at the Dollar Tree. On the back here, it just shows you how much vitamin E is in it and any other ingredients that are in it. I really do recommend these. Very good. Very good for dry skin. And here are my nails up close again. It's the end of the video. I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope that some of the ideas and tips that I do, maybe you can apply them to your routine. And of course, if you have any additional tips about natural nail health, that you would like to share, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to read them. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.